So look, right? A lot of people are but booty hurt that Amber Rose crushed her speech at the GOP convention. And look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even the biggest Amber Rose fan, but she definitely nailed this. Okay. So if you're sensitive, there's the door. All right. Without further ado, we getting right into it. Let's rock. Please welcome Amber Rose from South Philadelphia. Hello, my name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur, thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents, whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals. We all want a better country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump President of the United States. <laughs> now you may be wondering why I'm up here. Some folks ain't gonna like this video. I'm telling you this. I'm no politician and I don't wanna be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. Facts. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies. So I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. People have to do their research. And that's what a lot of people fail to do. I'm gonna be honest, you know, back in the day, I wouldn't say I was the biggest fan, but the thing I'm a fan of is results. And I'm a fan of lower gas prices. I'm a fan of groceries being affordable. I'm a fan of people being able to afford a home for their families. That's what I'm a fan of. Okay. Not this administration. I'm not a fan of that. I don't care if you're black, white, Republican, Democrat, you know, and look, I get it. Some people on the left are going to say, oh, well, you know, he's this, he's this, he's that. Look, at the end of the day, you need to do your research, just like Amber Rose said, and come up with your decision. And that's on you. You know, I don't knock anybody for what they believe in and what they do. But back to the video, let's get our angle on it. I watched all the rallies and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I realize Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> So I let go of my fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I wanna thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the US military. Thank you for your service, Dad. And just real quick, any first responders, any veterans, thank you for your service. Um, your service is greatly, greatly appreciated. I uh, just want to say that real quick. And um, wow, 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 wow. I think I remember Amber Rose saying she didn't like Trump back in the day, too. But this goes to show, again, 
You got to do your research. Stop think, you know, going with the sheep, right? Stop listening to the sheep because at the end of the day, that's not what's going to get the result. Back to the video. Love you, dad. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the president and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble. Just like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> and when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control. And you know in your heart it was not like this under Donald Trump. My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. And I just want to speak on that real quick, real quick, real quick. That is an actual fact. That's not an opinion. The, the left, they come with the opinions and the rhetoric, and he's a bad person in X, Y, and Z. Again, for me, I have to meet somebody and shake their hand for me to give you an honest opinion on a person. I'm not going to listen to the media. I'm not going to listen to all of that. So I like that Amber Rose said she met him, and then she was able to make her decision on that front, right? That's the type of person that I am. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I, I want to end it here. Let me know what you think. I know there's going to be people that don't like him. I get it. I get it. And I know there's people that do, right? So I'm curious to know, though. I'm curious to know. We haven't done a video like this on this channel. This is new. This is fresh. You know, we don't. We usually don't get political. But right now, look, it's the biggest thing right now. And yeah, we could talk about all this gossip stuff and all that other stuff. But look, we need groceries. The, the cost of groceries down. We need gas down. We need there's things that we should be talking about and, you know, things that we should be pushing that's going to actually help us and spread the word. All right. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Until next time. Peace.